Well, just moments ago, the man accused of kidnapping and killing Eliza Fletcher stood before a judge as they reset his court date. But before that, we learned that D.A. Steve Mulroy is now seeking the death penalty in this case. Lakita Johnson is live from 201 Poplar with more. Lakita, what can you tell us? Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, the same week that this whole situation happened was the same week that Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy stepped into his position. And since then, he's been extremely vocal about his stance on the death penalty and how he does not support it. But in this case, he says the law calls for it. And in this case, he justifies exactly why. Take a look. The phrase heinous, atrocious, and cruel is a term of art that is in the statute. It is one of the listed statutory aggravating factors. You have to show at least one of those aggravating factors in order to get the death penalty. And what it refers to is a level of uh, violence that um, goes above and beyond that necessary in order to cause the death. Now, Henderson faces a list of charges relating to the Eliza Fletcher case, including first degree murder, especially aggravated kidnapping and tampering with evidence. Police say Fletcher was running on the University of Memphis's campus on September 2nd when she was forced into an SUV around four in the morning. Investigators found her body just three days later behind a vacant home. Now, Henderson is also facing separate charges of aggravated rape and kidnapping for Alicia Franklin, who says he sexually assaulted her. The results from the sexual assault kit determined determined Franklin took linked Henderson to her case and was not entered into a national database until a few days after Fletcher's body was found. Now, as far as the death penalty is concerned, Morvoy says in general, it is not necessarily meant to be discouraging, but it is a policy that is applied in a discriminatory manner. He says the whole goal here is repayment. It is retribution, which he says, in his opinion, is the least important of the four pillars of justice. We also asked how the family has been doing all the way until this point. He says that they are very understanding of the process and that they're here until the end. Take a look. I to speak for him, but I can tell you this. They're ready to see this through to the end. Um, and I also say I think they're interested in as quick a resolution as possible. I do, they see no, they have no desire to drag this out. And so anything which can speed along the resolution of this uh, case is something that I think they're in favor of and, and, and our office as well. Now, the judge says that if he could have it his way, that this would be tried by the end of the year. But of course, uh, the investigations have to be complete and presented. Now, the next time that we should see Cleotha back in court is going to be on August the 4th. And of course, we will keep you guys updated both online and on air with the latest. For now, Memphis, I'm Lakita Johnson. Back to you. A very big decision and a very big case. Lakita, thank you. Also